vast amount of people on the internet, I didn't do a reaction video for the new trailer for Star Wars Episode 7, honestly, because I just don't care enough to. Not because it looks bad, in fact, I think it looks great. Added with the fact I love JJ previous work on other movies, fuck the haters, I have 100% faith this will be a blast to watch. Instead, I thought about Star Wars games that really stuck with me, and I played so freaking many, and so many of them are bad. But there are some gems. Shall we discuss those? Let's. You were weak when I found you. Now your hatred has become your strength. At last, the dark side is your ally. We're starting off the list with Star Wars Force Unleashed. It's not an amazing game by any means. It's short, mostly easy, some cool ideas that aren't really implanted very well. Implemented, sorry, implanted or implanted. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, and there's also tedious boss fights. That's just the start of the problem for the games. However, some nifty action scenes, good combat for the most part, fun worlds to explore, and an interesting story all made this one actually worthwhile at least to play. I didn't love it, but I did enjoy it. And the same can't be said for its terrible piece of shit sequel, Force Unleashed 2. Just skip that game. We have all but destroyed the Jedi Knights. The old Republic is crippled. They can do nothing to stop us now. But there is one thing standing in our way. Knights of Republic 2. It's glitchy, there's no real ending, it's a rush game, obviously. But, what the hell is with me and saying things say? Anyway, it was still really fun to play. At times, most of the time. Almost all the time, except the ending. Not to mention, learning more about the Sith Lords is also really cool, on top of actually making some big choices once again is always interesting. I just really wish the game would have actually ended properly, but it's still a fun game till that very ending point. Jedi Knight 2. Mix so many great elements from first person and third, and you get this little gem that nobody really expected. Well, I guess you could expect it if you played the first one. But anyway, it was a little bit uneven when it came to the lightsaber battles, but it was still fun as heck. The graphics were a bit outdated at the time, but nobody really cared. Oh, and did I mention it was a versus mode? It was pretty badass. So this game remains one of the highlights in my memory of Star Wars titles. What? I'm bringing to you number two, Jedi Academy. Now, many consider Jedi Knight 2 to be the best, but for me, the third one was just even better. More lightsabers, environments were fresher, force powers were even more badass, and I enjoyed the story a lot more as well. This is possibly one of the most fun games I played with the Star Wars name included. Oh, and the cheat codes in this game made this game possibly... No, not possibly. It was the funnest fucking game in the world when you put cheat codes on. Uh, everybody says Grand Theft Auto, no. Try going around as a badass motherfucking Jedi with unlimited amount of force I mean, it was just amazing. It was too fun. What a surprise, Knights of the Old Republic. I mean, it's hard to disagree here. There are plenty of great Star Wars games that I probably didn't even mention that you guys love, like Episode 3 or Battlefront 1 or 2 and many more, but Knights of the Old Republic gives so much respect to the entire universe. And not only that, but it made me a, you know, so-so fan of the movies to fall in love with the lore of this series. Not to mention the party members, the major twist, and the fantastic amount of customization. It just made this one the best, or one of the best, no, definitely the best Star Wars game ever created. Now give me a proper one, Bioware and EA. Stop with this MMO shit. Nobody in the fucking world wants an MMO anymore. We want Knights of the Old Republic 3. Give us our motherfucking game. Okay, sorry. I've just been really stressed because I see that they keep working on this Old Republic game and I'm like, why? No one likes you. Okay, I did kind of like it when I played it, but it just wasn't what I want. No, I'm not high or crazy. All right, I'm going to go. But this is my top five. List your top five Star Wars games, or at least 
you know, list your favorite Star Wars game, which I'm assuming everybody on this fucking page is going to pick Knights of the Republic. If you don't, if you haven't played it, go on Steam, click the little download button, pay the five bucks, and play possibly one of the greatest fucking games to ever exist. Thank you very much, Whitey Out. Have a wonderful, 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 that's right, kiss, wonderful day. Yeah.